In this tutorial, you'll learn some of the basics of using iMovie, such as cutting footage, adding music, and exporting videos. Use the clickable sections below to skip through the different parts. Launch the iMovie app on your computer and choose Create New and then Movie to start your project. The bottom half of your screen is your timeline where you'll be assembling and editing your footage. At the top right, you'll see your window to preview your video. This area is where you'll need to import your assets before you can add them to your timeline. Click Import Media and select all the photos, footage and media you want to add. Click Import All. All your assets will be added to your window here. You can now start adding them to your timeline and editing your project. To add media to your project, highlight the assets you want from the import area and then drag and drop them onto your timeline. You can run your cursor over footage in the import window to see a preview here. The running time will also be shown here. When adding video, you can add a specific section to your timeline instead of the whole file. Run your cursor over the thumbnail to find the point you want to start from and press I on your keyboard for in. Find your endpoint with your cursor and press O for out on the keyboard. Your selection will be highlighted in yellow. Click the plus sign here to add to your timeline or just drag and drop where you want it. You can move assets around on your timeline after they've been added. First you can zoom out on your timeline to see the sequence more clearly by pressing Command and Minus on your keyboard. Press Command and Plus to zoom back in. To change the order of the clips, drag and drop to move them into a different position. You can cut footage down by hovering over the far left or right side of it on the timeline until you see the arrows icon. Click and drag to trim it or make it longer if it's already been cut down. You can see how long each clip will play for here. You can review it by dragging the white position marker and then clicking play here or pressing spacebar on the keyboard. Splitting footage allows you to edit different parts of the same footage. Move your position marker to where you want to make the split, then on your keyboard, press Command B. You can now delete this part of the clip by pressing backspace on your keyboard. The rest of the assets will move up on your timeline. Drag and drop your music onto your timeline and you'll see it appear below your images and videos. You can use in and out points by pressing I and O on the keyboard if you want to add a specific section of the track. Split the audio clip the same way as video by moving the position marker to the point you want and then pressing Command B on your keyboard. Change the length of the track by dragging the arrow icons like this. To change the volume of the music, click and drag the horizontal line on your track up or down. You'll see the percentage change reflecting the volume. To gradually fade in or fade out of a track, click and drag the two circle icons on the ends of the music like this. Add transitions between images and footage if you don't want a straight cut between them. At the top, click on Transitions. All the transition options will be shown here. Click and drag a transition onto the gap between the two shots and you'll see a small icon appear like this.
To change how long the transition lasts for, click on the small square icon and amend it here. To add a title page, find a background you like and drag it onto the timeline where you want the title. Now click on the Titles tab and choose a text style. Click and drag onto the background image you just added and you'll see it added on top. To edit it, double click the title on your timeline and you can amend the text and font details. To add text straight onto footage, drag and drop where you like. Edit footage in iMovie by clicking on the shot in your timeline and you'll see it in your view window. At the top left, the magic wand option will automatically add recommended colour and contrast correction. If you'd like more manual control, you can find colour correction tools in this menu here. To export, Click on the Upload icon in the top right, and then select File from the drop-down. Type in the name and description of your file here, and make sure to select Video and Audio under the Format drop-down. Select the resolution and quality of output you want, and then press Next. Choose a file location and click Save. Your video will now export.